In this section, we'll be initializing the Braze SDK within our sample web app. The first step is to install the SDK, and since we're using NPM, we can just add the SDK as a dependency to the project. To do this, open up Terminal and CD into the project directory, and then run the following command. Need to wait a second for that to install, and then once that's done, we can start up the app by running npm start. And you'll see that this automatically opens up a new browser window with our app running. And now that the SDK is installed, we can add it into the project code. So let's open up VS Code, and the first place we'll be adding the Braze SDK is in index.js. So just importing the SDK like this, Next, we can initialize the SDK, so to do this, you'll need to create a new test app if you don't already have one, as well as a new web app for the project. Going into the Braze dashboard, here I'm in the test group that Willa created for me, and to add a new app to this, you would just click here, make sure it's web, and once that's done, you'll get this API key, and we can use that in the initialize function. So going back to index.js, calling initialize, passing that as the first argument. And then we also need to pass the base URL so we can go back into the dashboard and get the SDK endpoint. And then also enable logging for testing. At this point, the app should be running, so we can save those changes and navigate back to the website. And then if we inspect the page, we can look at the console logs, and here we should see logs indicating that the SDK has been successfully initialized.